like, I think he's on the good UK. But uh, somewhere around the Midwest. I don't know where he's from originally and where he stays now. Hey, I mean, he's the first seed, and he made top eight loser side, so... We'll yeah, he lost to Borant. Oh, the winners, game yeah. five. Okay. And I'm pretty sure Sega Storm lost to Slow Dream. So they're gonna start on Smashville. Uh, great stage for both players. Lucas loves this stage. Bayo loves it. Lucas gets his back throw and his general killing off the side, and Bayo gets his Renairs and all that jazz. Nice uh, pistol combo from Cheese Ballers. Gets a good, like, 40%. There is some debate on what characters beat Bayo, and Lucas is one of the characters inside of that debate. Yeah, I I can see him being as a check to Bayo. Like, I, I personally, I'm on the train that Bayo doesn't lose matchups, but she does have checks. I think, ideally, you want to be far away from Bayo, and PK Fire is just one of the best moves in the game for and, doing that. And ideally, you want to be a grappler versus Bayo, and Lucas has some of the best grabs in the game. Yeah, I mean, the hardest part about Bayo is which time is a factor, and Lucas has three things he can do out of grab. So, yeah. Up throw, back throw, and uh, Kuha. Yeah. And forward throw, four things. Um, but we're seeing it here, again, he's just gonna throw out PK fire, because really the best way to beat Bayo is to run away. Run away and force her to approach. And Bayo, and yeah, Bayo has to do all the approaching. She can... She can uh, use her, her bullets, but then he's just gonna throw more PK fires. Yeah, and it's like eventually PK fire will do more damage, so. Yeah. The edge guard game is a factor here, though. Bayo has that on Lucas. Lucas can only really down smash Bayo, which is coming back. Yeah, and Bayo can usually just hold A against tether characters. Yeah. Oh, that should be a stop. That's it. First stop going to Cheese Baller. Cheese Baller was the one seed of the tournament. Do you know where uh, Sega Storm was I seated? I don't actually know. Um, I I don't remember. I, don't. I, I, I did know that Cheese Baller was first. I didn't know. I don't think I saw him in the projected top eight. But, you know, that's what this tournament is. It is yeah, in bosses. in bosses. You never know. Uh, the, hard, the hardest part about fighting Lucas is killing him because he's so slippery. Yeah. Uh, so if he doesn't get this kill soon, he's going to get a lot of extra credit. All right, he could even potentially get the stock in about 20 more percent for that, yeah. with that much rage. Yeah, we, we need a two pummels and an up throw. I don't know about that. If you got the pummels, maybe you could have just ended it there. But Next one might do it. He next might have one, too much next rage. One will, next one will do it. Sure. I don't like how close exactly. I got <laughs> nope, air dodge, okay. So I, it looks I was like he's out. He's, he's, he's but, yeah. but Lucas has yeah. a bunch of throws, like he doesn't need just one. I was about to say I don't like how this Sega Storm was playing Lucas. Um, Yes, the bullets aren't going to kill Lucas, but at the same time you have to use it as a chance to see what Lucas is going to do. If you decide not to approach him. You know, I'm thinking right now, and I just realized Bayo might not have the frame data. She doesn't, Lucas not, doesn't not, have he, he has a good boxing game. Yeah, like his she, boxing game is good. That's why I'm saying like he has to check and see what happens if he stays back in the floor. You, you want to see what Lucas is going to do because you can't box him. Look at, uh, and, he has, and he has better grabs than you do. So. Bayo's best move in that case is like which twist, but I still feel like Lucas has stuff to do with which twist. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Uh, Lila has to counter pick um, because a lot of Bayo's like what they can do with the bullets in this stage, but yeah. this is so short, it might not be a big deal for them. It's more of a, even if they have stage control, then you shoot bullets from the edge because then it's like it discourages them from standing center stage and they usually back off. Yeah, but Bayo that, can really that work, camp out here. Yeah, that works on everyone, so it's, it's, it's sort of like, uh, am I really in disadvantage sort of, sort of place? But it's like, she's here and she shoots bullets just like that. There it is. And it's like, alright, you backed off the stage control and I can grab it again. I'm curious as to what she's calling fans. That may be Oh, oh okay. It. Didn't even I want to say Battlefield, maybe. Because that's a possibility. Bales will, will definitely time out grapplers on Battlefield, so. Uh, Bayo's aerials are generally going to be safe on shield, and Lucas has a fair grab and nothing purpose. So he's got to punish uh, whiffs and not on the with power shield. That or just, um, oh, what's the school? Oh, wow. The air dodge, the air dodge might have killed him. But he was saved. The air dodge killed him, and the witch twist actually saved him. Yeah. And that's probably a big sigh of relief. However, he still needs to get the stock. Uh, Bayo can do what Bayo does and probably just run away and shoot him. Bullets, yeah, uh, it, that's it, optimal here. It's definitely not. Yeah, it's definitely not easy on this stage. Like, yeah, this is Bayo's 
best neutral uh, as far as neutral, neutral goes in, in, in the game. That is definitely true. It's so hard to approach when she's on the low angle throwing uh, the neutral at you. That's another thing we didn't talk about. This air is so good in this matchup too for Lucas. Um, I agree. Um, I honestly think, I don't think there is a matchup that Lucas has where Zara is a bad idea. <laughs> Super good this one though. Alright, back uh, throw. That back throw definitely would have taken her. Yeah, with this much rage, but Bayo's down tilt coming in. But... Alright, All that's right, a good hot. Take, take the first one. Ooh, oh my god. You know, maybe the stage was tilted maybe, low enough yeah, that, who, uh, it... You can never tell with Lila. Alright, that's just a bit good the back throw. Up. All right, maybe crazy jab block setup will do it for uh, for cheese baller. You but, know, uh, it's interesting because I'm pretty sure that Vale can after after Lucas bounces Vale, I'm pretty sure that she can buffer which clip out of it, and he can't grab her. But I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen Sega Sword try that. Um, that's it's just it's just so um, such a get out of jail free card where that grab right there, if he buffered up B, it probably wouldn't have worked. You went for something hard with that back here, I think. He Really wants this damage real quick in favor of the lower damage, but easier to hit combos. Yeah, he wants the back here so that he can combo it into more aerials. He like might right there. realize that he needs to go hard going soft more. Yeah, but at this point, if he had went for the three hits for those two grabs, they would have been at a percent where it's comparable for down to up. Yeah, that's true. I, I think he might have been reaching a bit too far, but we'll have Se uh, see, see Sega Storm take game two, bringing it to 1 1. Um, cheese baller's counter pick. FD's gonna get banned, so I'm thinking. Survival. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. To go unless he wants to switch to DK, but I don't, I'm not foreseeing it. I I don't see it unless he gets like destroyed this game, then he might give it a shot. Yeah, Three, DK is the advantage of having super early kills. One, DK is gonna get bopped. Yeah, like, he can yeah. bop her. Really yeah, it's like a once he gets a grab. Exactly. The advantage about DK is you can kill her early and kill her hard. Because you can grab. Yeah. You can't be which time up grab. Can't which time grabs. Yeah, uh, Talon's is choice. Uh, Uha works better here. Up throw works better here. He has more room to run around, which is what he wants. And uh, oh, that oh, if he had landed on that platform, that could have set up into something really good. That probably could have killed. Yeah. And it's already like getting his back air combos this game. Quick 95. Let that show you how powerful of a stage Lilat is for Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. And how good of a stage this is for Lucas. We're All on right, FD that now. might be the first stock. Yep. Yeah, Town and City, doing it for you. No rage needed. Edge guard not gonna come into play here. He uh, SDI'd right out of there. Now, that's another thing I haven't seen. I see. I saw Sega Storm in these games. I think he's only this time once. Besides that one that he just did, I think he only this time once. And Lucas is besides him grabbing you. It, if he's in the air, it's almost always a good idea to probably which time his approach because he can't grab you in the air. So yeah, he's got to throw out a hitbox. Yeah. Did you just say? Did you just say that? I mean, he can't grab you in the air. He can't grab you in the did air. Did you just say that on commentary? Oh, I did. Yeah, some characters can grab you in the air. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. Don't forget. That's All the right. kind of game we play. Can't grab in the air. That's a vintage meme. <laughs> That's a vintage meme. Um. Yeah, he's. I like how he's witch timing all these PK fires because if he air dodges them, then he lands flat. Yeah. A lot of people question that, but really it's optimal. You lose your witch time, but at least you won't get the PK fire. Mm -hmm. And then another thing is that you get a few invincibility frames after you use witch time, even if it's off their death So why not? Witch time and then start running at them. Looking for oh, an air that dodge. That might actually do it. Yeah. There it is. Fair is very strong. Well, well, probably like low key, like. Lucas. Super strong, like. So you mentioned that he wasn't using a lot of witch time, as far, except for the PK Fires. Um, yeah, because even that game, um, I feel like uh, Cheese Ballers didn't actually grab him that much. He grabbed him when he needed to, like to get the, the confirmed KO. But other than that, he was just anti airing him. Because the male kept jumping, but she wasn't actually like hitting him. She just kept, <laughs> the Sega Storm just kept jumping. You know, I think he's doing it because. You know, us saying it, it's like, I'll never forget about which time, but when you're in the heat of the moment, mm -hmm. the less you move, use it, the better, because then your opponent gets aggressive, and, and right he there, forgets exactly. that which time even exists. Yeah, that's And it'll do something, and, and then, oh, that's a move that's in the game. Exactly. Goes for a footstool, but not so maybe, able to get it out. Maybe a bit too low percent. Fails quite the fast ball. Uh, Smashville's the counter pick. I like it. Um, 
I just think she's gonna have a hard time killing Lucas on Battlefield because of how slippery he is. Yeah, and um, Town and City was not, uh, was not pretty. Town of, yeah, it's definitely good for Lucas. And my left gone. Don't want to go to FD, that's for sure. You also you also do well on Smashville because the moving platform allows you to escape Lucas's grass vector if you're trying to land. Really, all you had left was this in Dreamland, and this is probably better in Dreamland. Yeah. Of course, it's good for Lucas too, but still Bayo's best bet. I definitely am seeing a lot more patience come out of Sega Storm. This game is not approaching as much. Um, so I'm gonna grab some time there, but. Going really hard for those, yeah, but if he had just the normal combos, he'd have more kills. Exactly, percent. like that, that was how he lost the, the Lilac game. Alright, so Sega Storm will take the first stock with the charming percent. Um, yeah, he's got some work to do. Um, another 20-30% for Buha. Uh, Bayonetta, on the other hand, oh, the balloon, not as uh, much. Extending the hurt box up. That's that gonna be a hard point. angle. Oh, that was that's unfortunate. That was a real hard angle. Yeah. Oh, Game five. Yeah. Winner goes home. Or stays <laughs> here and hangs out for a little bit. Yeah, or excuse does. me, loser goes home. <laughs> or stays here and hangs out for a little bit. They, it's up to them, but, uh, winner does not go home. They could if they wanted to. Um, going back to Town and City. Ooh, well, wait, could he do that? Where did he win last? Ah, uh, he won last on Town and City. So I guess they're gonna gentlemen. Yeah, in order for him to have gone back, they must have gentlemen. So. Hold on, wasn't it afternoon town just a minute ago? Is it night town now? Yeah, it's eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Is, look is at it, that. Is it sh shift? Eight, eight p.m. Yeah. There, there you go. Uh, that's advanced Saturdays. tech, everyone. Advanced tech. How to change Wait, the background of the game? It's Saturday. On Saturday. Is this uh, KK supposed to be here? I or is that after 9? It should be KK, but maybe the date on the Wii U is not on Saturday. Uh, possibly. Alright, uh, 71 on Bayo, 22 on Lucas. Final countdown. I think uh, Sega Storm is struggling because, like, as we saw there, when he does his pressure, he doesn't have a place to escape to when now he comes to the FD version. Yeah, so the like, hardest part about Bayo is should, like, See right there, like I was saying before, if Bayo buffers Witch Twist out of Lucas's down tilt, then he can grab her after it. But, like I was saying before, um, I think what Sega Storm, I'm not, I, I'm not sure if he's doing this, or if he thinks this as well, but he should probably be laying off of it when it does the FD transformation, because the FD transformation is It's and then, well known that they are the worst stages FD. Yeah, so. When it's, yeah, so it's when is the FD transformation, just chill for a bit, and wait for the platform to come back, and then start your pressure again. Because, yeah, it gets grabbed right now, she's 100% going off the top. I just brought this back to an even game though. Uh, Cheese Baller got a quick lead and now it's even. Ooh, and now it's nice edge advantage. Guard coming from Sega Storm. Looking there, taking the lead. But one grab can even it up. Yeah, up throw kills now. And I'm sure Sega Storm's aware of it and will try to exactly. get out of there. Yeah, he's trying to get back Ooh. to center stage real hard. He does not want to grab. There it is. Ops not for the I, Yeah, I was actually surprised that he didn't. Up maybe maybe he was afraid of Rage not letting it work. He was at zero, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Okay. And that's probably really disheartening, because that's 47%. Yeah, and which Bale's, time gets him killed? Bale is probably one of the best characters in the game at getting extra credit, so. And yeah, he's just throwing projectiles now. Now Cheese Baller has to approach. His defensive play style will not work. And that's how you beat Bale is play defensive. So. Alright, that's good. Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, 58%, not I, I, impossible. I think you're right, I think the up air would've, 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 would've came up before. Um, it feels like 130, so... A crazy food stool combo will even this up. Yep. Or a few regular at combos. Least, yeah, at least like 40%. Up tilt, okay. I think he was expecting the witch twist, actually. Oh, the platform kind of screwed him over there. That could be really bad. Sega Storm, not able to take advantage of it, though. Platform has messed them both up on those punishes. Mm -hmm. up there. Nice dodging, weaving by cheese ballers to get back to the stage. Maybe a bit too much, too many hops from second floor. God uh, damn it! That's oh. a little jab lock. What's it gonna be? Ooh, I was, what? I was expecting the episode. I actually, I'm pretty extent. sure if you shield one hit, the rest of them don't matter. Ooh, oh my god! Get back here. He hit him out of the uh, cheese ball just as the surprise as the rest of us. He hit him out of the adapter burner kick. Yeah. Wow.
That's a trade Lucas will take any day. 